So I just got my hair cut, so that's what this is, but ignore that. So I went to Kroger after getting my hair cut, and you guys, I found these! No. These are okay. like pizza bites. What are they called? I don't know. Mm. But they're gluten-free. It's been forever since I've had like a pizza bite, or pizza roll, that's what they're called, pizza rolls. It's been years and years and years since I've had pizza rolls because they're not gluten-free, and I just saw these in the aisle. Now, this box was $4, um, but uh, I figured it's worth oh trying it. There are, uh, I don't know how many in here, but we're gonna cook these for lunch and see how we feel about it. So I cooked them in our new way, which is like a convection oven, and they kind of leaked, which is very much like regular pizza rolls, so that's a good sign. They're also extremely hot, which means if I eat them now, I will burn my uh, mouth, just like regular pizza rolls. So again, good sign. Excuse me. But um, some of the filling that leaked <laughs> tastes good. I'm gonna go see if anyone wants to try one. What's the consensus so far? He likes them, she likes them. Are they chewy? Uh-huh. All right, that's like a pizza roll. Well, have you ever had a pizza roll? Uh-huh. Okay, I thought so. Well, you the, have not though. Well, these are the end of crusty. Yeah. Like pizza. Uh-huh. You have never had a regular pizza roll though. So mm. this is your first kind. Mm. What do you think? Mm. To pass the pizza roll test? Does it taste mm. like a pizza? Does it taste the same or what do you think? I don't really remember what one tastes like. But. <laughs> I don't really either. Um, I kind of remember what they tasted like, so we're just gonna... They taste good. They taste good, and that's the most important part, so here we go. I want another one. Okay, definitely does not taste exactly the same, because they're made from the Smart Flour Company, so it tastes like Smart Flour Pizza Crust. Doesn't taste mm. like processed white bread mm. crust, but it's very good. Definitely, yeah, definitely worth the $4. <laughs> In continuation of Amelia's adventurous dinners, we have <laughs> um, fresh spring rolls. I've made these before, but it's been a while, and I've also only ever used brown rice paper. And this is just spring roll wrappers I got at Kroger, because I actually got them a while ago, but they're not past their best by date, so we're still good. Um, but they're sticky, like they're a lot stickier than in the past, so I won't buy this type again. I prefer the brown rice paper rolls, but I've made them before. They're good. I'm not good at like wrapping it super tight, especially because these were super sticky. Um, but I'm excited about them. And then you dip them in the peanut sauce. Isaiah's already digging in. What do you think? Mm -hmm. They good? You haven't eaten any yet. <laughs> you guys, I just created a thing. This is gluten-free cinnamon raisin bread. And then that's provolone cheese and I made a grilled cheese. Oh my gosh. I just created a masterpiece. Um, so we had two different kinds of bread. We had this, the Udi's gluten-free cinnamon raisin bread that I got at Kroger because it was on my energy special for two ninety, no, two seventy nine, something like that. It was really cheap for gluten-free bread. If you don't eat gluten-free bread, that sounds expensive. But if you eat gluten-free bread, that sounds like free. So <laughs> I picked up one because it's fun to have it as toast or whatever. And then we also have a package of the new Udi's soft white bread and I hadn't tried it yet, so I, I was pulling it out to make a grilled cheese with it, and I felt it with my fingers to pull out the bread, and it was the softest gluten-free bread I have ever felt. It just felt like regular bread, and I was like, oh! And then I was like, I can't use this for grilled cheese. This is too nice of a bread. This needs to be used for regular sandwiches. I cannot bear to use this for grilled cheese. So I put the package away, and then since this was the only other kind of gluten-free bread we had, I decided to use this to make a grilled cheese. And we had a bunch of provolone cheese, so I used provolone cheese, thinking, it'll be okay, right? You guys, it's incredible. Like, <laughs> I don't know if you've ever tried this, but I definitely recommend it. It is amazing. It just, it... Oh, ma'am. So, just sitting here in my room by myself, feeling like a master chef with my grilled cheese, um... So far today, I did Abigail's hair, I did a new style, I'm pretty happy with it, I'll show it to you later, and I've clipped a ridiculous amount of coupons, and I'm getting ready to do the very last thing I need to do for the library um, and publicity stuff, I'm gonna do the very last thing for that. Like I said, clipped a bunch of coupons and watched a bunch of Netflix. I decided, because Supergirl is on its ridiculous nine-week hiatus, that I'm going to go back and watch Glee 
starting when Melissa Benoist was on Glee because that's about the time I stopped watching Glee. Like I kind of casually watched Glee, but um, I watched it the beginning few seasons and then that whatever that was the fourth season was when I slowly stopped watching it and then I just kind of watched a few episodes here and there and songs and stuff so I decided to go back and watch it um from then and realized I missed so many things um but so that's been fun to kind of <laughs> have that playing and see Melissa Benoist not as Supergirl but as a high school student and it's confusing anyway that's been my day so far uh, we've got ballet later, and I still need to figure out what I'm making for dinner tonight. Also, haven't really vlogged much this week. Or have I vlogged anything this week? I don't know, but hey, happy Monday. I'm gonna enjoy my, um, fancy grilled cheese now. Okay, I don't know if you can tell, because it's kind of hard to see, but there are like 20-some vultures just hanging out in the sky over here. Just like, circling. Like, do you see all of them? Those are all vol- oh my gosh! What in the world? It's like every vulture in the county is right here. <laughs> Those are vultures! They're just really high up. They're not crows or doves or anything. Those are all vultures. Oh my gosh! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> so, I found a new dessert at Meyer on Saturday that I decided to try because it looked interesting. It says non-dairy banana base berry blend. It's like an ice cream and it looks like that. It's actually really good. It kind of just tastes like a smoothie bowl. <laughs> it's um, it's just fruit. It's banana, blueberry, water, pomegranate, sugar, elderberry, and then you know other things but it's it's just fruit and it's really good and yes I could technically make it myself and make a really thick smoothie bowl but it's a lot easier <laughs> hello happy Wednesday today has been oh my goodness today has been quite the busy day uh, so I had food pantry today and it was the first week of holiday month so you know I just needed to stress about it a little bit, so I stressed about it a little bit. It actually went pretty well. We didn't have, like, a ton of people. I mean, we had a good amount of people, but uh, my favorite part was that I had exactly the right number of produce items for the number of households we had had today, which literally never has happened ever. So, like, the exact right amount. So that made me very happy. Um, and then I had my library meeting after, so I had to be completely ready for the library meeting and for the holiday week today. And also, we had our final uh, post-adoption visit for Abigail today, which I wasn't there for, obviously, because I was working, but, um, so I had to do her hair this morning, and normally I don't really need to do her hair, um, every, si like, I do her hair, but I don't do it every single day, because I usually have it in styles that I don't have to do it every single day, or if I have it in a style where, you know, I just need to touch it up, but, you know, it's an important day, she needs to look nice, so I had to do her hair this morning. So I was stressed about getting everything done and also leaving in time to do her hair, but I still got to the pantry uh, at like a couple minutes after 11 um, and I was the second one there. So uh, that went well. I was happy about that um, and everything went, it went well. So it started off as a stressful morning and ended up being a uh, pretty decent day. So now I am on my way home. Oh, I also forgot to mention that it was snowing when I woke up this morning. So this whole spring thing that I thought was finally arriving did not. It was snowing. Uh, that was interesting. Um, it's 37 degrees out. I was not expecting to have that again until uh, winter. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, headed home now. I'm going to do a simple dinner. I'm just going to warm up some stuff we have in the freezer. We've got some tamales from Aldi and we have some pupusas. <laughs> That's what they're called. Uh, that I'm going to warm up and then I'll just do, oh no, you fell. Some sort of frozen vegetable or something, cause, um, come back! Dad'll be home relatively soon. And also I'm hungry and also I'm tired because even though, oh, even though it was a good day, I am still tired. Also, I'm very cold. I should probably turn the heat on now that I'm like a minute from home. Oh well. Okay, that's my Wednesday update. I did it again. I made a delicious acai bowl. And I ate the whole thing. <laughs> and now I'm sitting here in my sweatshirt and a blanket because that's what happens when you eat an acai bowl and it's 35 degrees outside. Yes, I woke up to snow this morning. Not a ton of snow, but like a little bit of snow. Also, <clears throat> still got a cough thing going on.
Anyway, this has become my Thursday routine, apparently. We go to Isaiah and Abigail's gymnastics, and then I do yoga, and then we come home, and I make smoothies for whoever wants smoothie bowls. So that's what happened, and I made a larger-than-normal acai bowl, and I ate the whole thing. And I'm also kind of still hungry, which is weird. Um, yeah, but now it's time for me to go do laundry, because that's also part of my Thursday routine. I hope I don't have anything in my teeth. <laughs> So I'm very excited because my very favorite gluten-free, well, I have two. One of my favorite gluten-free pasta brands, Jovial, has uh, bow tie or farfully, farfolly, bow tie pasta, but um, we only buy ours through Thrive because it's slightly cheaper and Thrive hadn't had them and they just recently started carrying them. And so the second I saw them on there, ordered two boxes and so now I'm finally using them. I'm very excited. Bow tie pasta is my absolute favorite shape of pasta because it's, bow tie. it's shaped like a bow tie. Exactly. Like what's a bow tie? It's a good question. <laughs> it's shaped like a bow tie. I mean, it's like yeah, oh, it's like I a like tie it. that boys wear or girls, I guess on your neck. And it's like a bow, does it, not the tie that goes down, but it's a tie that's like this way. It goes to the side. Yeah. So these look like little bows, and I'm excited. That? The, the little excitements of being gluten-free. <laughs> so, I finished making my meeting minutes for the friends meeting that was this week, because um, if I don't do it right away, then I push it off, and I might not do it, and I'm new at this, and so I want to just do it. Um, so I have my paper copy here, and I grabbed, blindly grabbed a little paper clip out of my little thing of multicolored tiny paper clips to paper clip pages together, and look! It's green! And... I uh, theme the meeting minutes um, St. Patrick's Day themed, and I unintentionally pulled out a green paperclip. So, yay for that! Cool! Don't know why I felt like I needed to show you that, but I was very excited about it. Yay for my green paperclip! <laughs> yay for green!